theme. Um, I, well, we call, we're calling this collection um, Urban Opulence. And uh, the, the thought behind it was our strong, um, empowered wine girl, who we think she is. Um, but with, uh, you know, her urban um, necessities. And uh, we were thinking of her in like a gilded city. So we, the, this washing of gold and this idea of this um, glimmering of gold and the idea of um, a little bit of opulence with the holographic uh, and the and the. And I love the I love the little like peak of holographic material it was amazing. That that's kind of her opulence. Week memory it doesn't necessarily have to be one of your shows, but any other Fashion Week memories? I think the first show that we did because we had never done a show, yeah. and it was such an explosion of excitement. Really like I, that dragon. It's yeah. like trying to get that high, and that um, there was something that came off of that show that it was like, and then every the year you're for so long, to like do it again. And it was the first time we actually showed, and it was just fun to be part of the group. So I think that's my favorite fashion show. Moment. One Canadian designer who's emerging that you wanted everybody to know about and really wanted to be like their cheerleader. Who would it be? It doesn't have to be just one, but oh, who are you gonna? Oh, who are you gonna? Well, Vinny, who works with us, is yeah, like showing, showing on, Friday, on Friday, and we've got to like you know support Good him. Shout out to Vinny. Um, you know, it's his first runway show, and we wish him the very best. Um, I, my personal favorite is always Macage. I think they're great. I have tons of it in my wardrobe, and they're my favorite Canadian design. This is Gail McInnes. Talking to you from backstage at World MasterCard Fashion Week following the Line Knitwear show. Hopefully we'll see them again on the runways next fall season.